Good afternoon from uh, Oanda in Singapore. I'm Jeff Halley. Uh, just a quick look ahead uh, for the rest of the week, and it is indeed a very, very busy week. We start off tonight with uh, President Biden's address in Pittsburgh, where he's going to outline the preliminary details of his follow-on three uh, trillion uh, dollar package, the Build Back Better America package, infrastructure and energy spending, et cetera, et cetera. US yields came under pressure uh, overnight, although they did make back some of those uh, losses. But the thought of more stimulus coming through, more debt issuance is almost certain to push US yields higher again uh, tonight and possibly into the end of the week, leaving, uh, leading to more dollar strength. We're actually seeing interest rates around the world rise everywhere, even in Germany. If we take a look at this chart of the 10-year uh, gilts in the UK, we can see that gilts, and we have to remember that the, uh, the chart moves inversely uh, to interest rates. So when it goes down, interest rates are going up. So don't get confused there. But we can see that interest rates in the 10-year tenor in the UK are now at March 2020 levels, and before that, May 2019 levels. We're seeing these yield curves steepening everywhere, but it is most notable in the UK, I mean in the US, and that is why we are seeing this uh, dollar strength. The fun in action continues tonight with the ADP employment numbers. Now, if they come in above uh, 500,000, that could lead to the non-farm payrolls forecast for Friday being reassessed to 700,000 jobs plus being added, which is almost certain to lead to more dollar strength. Tomorrow, we have OPEC Plus with their monthly uh, meeting where they'll reassess their production targets. After the surprise of last month where they left everything unchanged, uh, the market is now expecting exactly the same this time around, given that the backwardation in the, uh, in the Brent futures has disappeared and that prices have fallen since last month. It could be a case of buy the rumour and sell the fact, though, because this is out in the market and expected, if OPEC is unchanged, we could see Brent crude take another tumble back towards that $60 a barrel mark. Although I am in all honesty not expecting them to go much lower than that. Of course, we also have uh, Friday's uh, non-farm payrolls in the United States, which will be the highlight of the week. And there we're expecting to see a number that could exceed 700,000 jobs added for the month, which would be a spectacular comeback and confirm that uh, America's recovery is well and truly on track, if not accelerating as all those vaccinations get in people's arms over in the United States. So what are we going to see with that one? Probably more dollar strength in all likelihood. If we look at this euro uh, versus US dollar chart, the daily chart, we can see that euro has actually broken out of its uptrend quite some time ago, early March, and is actually testing 117 today. The chart does actually suggest, though, that we could extend down to 116 and possibly between 112 and 114 before this dollar squeeze is over. Similarly, dollar yen is on the move. When we look at the chart there, we can see that it broke out of its downward channel in March as well. And it has actually risen to 111 as of today, although it has retreated in Asia this afternoon. Uh, but it does initially targeting 112, and I could see it moving up to 114. So what else is going to be suffering as the US dollar short squeeze continues, bearing in mind that the whole world spent 2020 selling dollars? Well, gold. It looks like uh, that could be uh, in for uh, some uh, more downward pressure as well. If we look at this very messy chart that I put up here, it does actually show all the Fibonacci retracements, hence uh, all those shadings. But if you look closely on it, maybe freeze the video, you can see that uh, gold is now retesting its 61.8% uh, Fibonacci retracement at 1685. And it is definitely starting to feel the pressure now of higher US yields and uh, higher US dollars. And it does look like that that bottoming action that it was trying to form is going to break gold bugs hearts once again. Gold looks uh, for all money right now that it's ready to target another drop down to $1,580, $1,580 an ounce. So it's going to be a busy week for the rest of the week. Uh, but I do uh, wish you good trading and all a happy, happy Easter. Thank you.